Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Anu and in this video, I want to talk about my recent technical interview experience with DE Shaw & Co. So for those of you who don't know, DE Shaw is a global investment and technology firm. So it's more in the investment in the fintech space and it's a hedge fund so hedge funds i'm not going to explain what hedge funds are in this video but it's a company that pays a lot and i recently appeared for their interview experience for a full-time front office sge role and i previously shared my interview experience where i interviewed with them for the internship experience as well and i shared that video earlier but this one is my full-time interview experience and honestly they were like five rounds that i had to attend so there's tons of learnings i'll also share the resources with you and i'll talk everything about starting from the application process to how i applied to the recruiter reach out and the online assessment what are the resources that i used and we're going to talk about everything so before we jump in i want to emphasize that this is my personal interview experience your interview experience may vary you may get tougher questions or you may get easier questions or probably you're applying for a different role definitely learn a lot but do mind that this is my own personal interview experience and i want to be completely transparent with you when i share such things so now let's start with how did the whole application begin so it all started with a recruiter reaching out to me for an opening in the strategic technology role like i previously mentioned when i applied i received a mail that i was shortlisted for the online assessment round and now we'll talk about the online assessment so talking about the online assessment the online assessment was 90 minutes long and it was held on hacker rank and this round was actually kind of interesting than other tech companies that i've interviewed for because this had three sections and now we're going to talk one by one about each of these three sections so talking about the first section the first section is the coding now the coding is divided again it's a timed section so what it means is that for each question you're given a specific time so you're given that for the first question you'll be given 25 minutes which is going to be a medium problem and then you're going to be given 30 minutes which is going to be a medium hard problem and the next question is going to be 35 minutes and that is going to be a hard problem and the topics that you have to focus on for this round is binary search and dp and graphs so trust me i have given online assessments and clear online assessments of dhr twice now and these are the only topics that are always asked let's talk about the other two sections which are actually quite different so the other section is aptitude round so i have seen this pattern in a lot of finance companies fintech companies that they do ask you about aptitude as well and in aptitude what are things that are included is quantitative reasoning logical reasoning so these are some things that are included in the aptitude round and the other section that was there was computer science fundamentals round so the aptitude and the computer science fundamentals round they are both mcq sections with negative marking that's right so you have negative marking as well so if you're unsure about a problem or if you're not sure about what the solution is going to be just leave that problem and in the computer science fundamentals the problems are mostly going to be based on operating systems database management systems and computer networks so after completing the screening the online assessment i got a mail that i have been shortlisted for the screening interview screening interview is a eliminatory round so if you're not able to clear this round you won't be proceeding ahead with the rest of the interview so this it's very important to clear this round and the topics that were generally asked in this round were my internship projects my current experience i was asked questions around data structures algorithms and again i was asked questions around computer science fundamentals like and i was also asked questions about my primary coding language so if your primary coding language is java for example then you should know about multi-threading you should know about concurrency you should know and that was it for the screening round after completing my screening round i quickly received a mail within an hour that i will be having my in-house interviews and now let's talk about the in-house interviews which i gave about four interviews so let's talk about that talking about my in-house interviews my in-house interviews each of them were like 60 to 90 minutes long i know that sounds very hectic and it was 
so 60 to 90 minutes long it was similar to the screening round itself but just that everything was asked from a much tougher level so you can imagine that the coding problems are also related to dp and graphs i had about three interviews that were totally based on technical questions let's talk about the fourth round the fourth round was a bit a mix of the technical round and the hr round as well the only framework that i use for answering these questions is the star framework yeah so that was it for this round as well the in house interviews i had three technical interviews and the fourth was a mix of hr and technical as well i spent five interview rounds online assessment filling up the application i went through this whole process for about a month and you can definitely learn from this experience as well and you can learn about how the interview is conducted and how the online assessment was conducted so with that we come to the end of the video i hope you liked it do you have an upcoming interview with d show or are you aspiring to apply at a fintech company if yes leave it in the comment below whether this video was helpful for you or not i love to read all of your comments i love to interact with all of them and i will see you in my next video until then like this video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family and i will see you in the next one bye bye